Hey, what's up, church family? It's Pastor Hassan. It's Friday morning, and here's our word for the day. So I want us to look this morning at Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27, and pose the question, simple question, what are you building your life on? Here's what God's word says in Matthew chapter 7, beginning at verse 24. Jesus says, everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And so in this section, Jesus is wrapping up his teaching from the Sermon on the Mount. And he sort of ends with a, a bit of a punchline, a bit of a, here's what you do with this. Here's, here's the, a, a big takeaway from everything that I've, I've said. And he poses these or, or, or gives us these two different outcomes, one wise and one foolish. And it's important for us to bear in mind that everybody builds their life on something. Everybody has a set of values. Everybody has certain principles and, and things that you, you might not even be fully aware of, but, but there are things that shape the way that each of us live, why we do the things that we do. And Jesus makes it abundantly clear that when it comes to him and his word and what, what the scriptures teach about him, like there's two very different responses that people can have to that and two very different outcomes as a result. And so first he says, there's, there's those, there are those who hear his teaching, hear the message of the kingdom, hear who he is, and they respond to it with obedience. They, they actually do, like put into practice what it is that they're hearing. The things that they're hearing about Jesus and, and um, his message, that actually impacts the way that they live. And Jesus says those people are like wise builders who build their house on the rock. And then when adversity comes, when the waters the rain falls, the floods come, and the winds blow, the, the house is able to stand. It, it, it's not devastated. It's not blown over by all of that turbulence. But on the flip side, you have people who hear about Jesus. They hear the things that he says. They, they learn of him, and yet they, they don't. it doesn't impact the way that they live. They just hear it goes in one ear, out the other. Perhaps they reject it, or maybe they just sort of, um, they're, they're indifferent to it, but it doesn't shape the way that they live. Jesus says those people are like foolish builders who build their house on the sand. And so then when the, the waters rise and the floods come, the rain falls, the flood comes, and then the winds blow, then down goes the house. And, and, and you'll notice that in this devastation of the house, it's not something that can be salvaged. Oh, I'll just sort of piece it back together. We can, um, we can fix what, what, what's happened after this devastation. Like this is utter devastation. Great was the fall of it. Like, so the, the, the consequences of hearing about Jesus and, and not building your life on him and his message, those consequences are utterly, utterly devastating, like eternally devastating. And so brothers and sisters, for us, we want to be people who don't just know a lot about the Bible and hear Sunday, hear sermons every week Sunday and read the Bible and listen to the devotionals and um, podcasts and YouTube sermons and listen to Joy 1250 and all of these things, and yet we're not actually putting into practice the things that we're hearing. That, that'd be like somebody who can, like I can tell you all the ins and outs of masonry and 
can tell you all about bricks and mortar and all that kind of stuff. And yet I'm, I'm not actually putting that information into practice and, and building solid structures, brothers and sisters, that that's that's foolish. And so for, for us, even today, I, I would encourage you to be praying, Lord, how, how do I live this out? How do I build my house on the rock even today? How do I put into practice the things that I'm hearing on Sunday mornings? How do I help, help me put into practice the things that I'm learning? So I'm not just being a hearer of God's word, hearer of what you have to say, but I'm actually doing it. Um, that that is the path of of wisdom, and so we're going to talk this Sunday, Lord willing, about not being fools. And in order to do that, in order to not be a fool and to to be wise, we need to build our house on the rock that is that is Jesus Christ. Actually, live in light of what we learn of Him and and of His message and what we learn in God's Word. And so I would encourage you to do that today, brothers and sisters, and persevere. In that. And then when those difficult seasons of life come, we can be confident based on the authority of God's word that our, our houses, the house of our life will be able to stand. And so love y'all. Y'all have a great day today and we'll be in touch. Lord willing, we'll see you on Sunday. And in the meantime, y'all take care. All right. God bless.